Yeah, hi. hi. I'm Harris Gasparakis. I'm with AMD. Uh, I am uh, managing uh, computer vision uh, applications, so OpenCV is uh, part of it. Uh, also, AMD Jersey product, and those are uh, AMD's main, uh, some of the main uh, products uh, in the computer vision space. Uh, we, we are all about uh, open standards, so we support uh, OpenCL, we support uh, HSA, which is the heterogeneous uh, system architecture, which uh, enables different kinds of processors to work uh, together uh, in a collaborative manner. So, uh, you know, we, we see value in CPUs, we see value in GPUs, uh, and on the top of that we want all these uh, computer elements to be able to communicate with each other very efficiently. Uh, and uh, you know, be able to utilize the right processor for the right uh, uh, task. Uh, now, at the same time, we are integrating all these processors at the same die. So right now, you can pretty much any any CPU that you can buy uh, is an integrated GPU, meaning that it has a computer, a CPU, and a GPU IP on it, uh, together with other IP uh, like uh, ISPs, you know, the code codecs and stuff like that. Uh, so we have a couple of computer vision uh, demos here. Uh, uh, we have open C we have worked for the last three years a lot in open uh, CV and we have accelerated it using uh, OpenCL. Uh, so this is some of the uh, open CV uh, demos. Uh, this is the next generation of OpenCV, the open CV 3.0. Uh, and it's featuring a transparent API, meaning that uh, you can uh, uh, you write your code uh, independent of a device and no matter what it is, uh, you know if it's a CPU it will run differently. If it's a GPU, it will run uh, differently. Uh, so here you see uh, one of the OpenCV demos, it's called foreground background uh, subtraction. Um, so you see that uh, if nothing is moving, uh, everything becomes the background. If I move my hand, this becomes the foreground, but if I keep it there, uh, then it becomes the background. And this happens interactively uh, in OpenCL uh, using uh, GPUs. Um, so, so we have enabled uh, the, the developer community to, to have a very good starting point with OpenCL and uh, computer vision. They can just go, you know, get OpenCV and uh, use it as a starting point at the minimum. Um, we also have a gesture, uh, a gesture recognition uh, uh, demo. Uh, it's a, it's a full-fledged product actually. It's a, uh, it comes with uh, AMD laptops. So let me set this up. All right, so, so right now I have enabled uh, uh, gesture uh, control uh, and uh, then I can use my hands basically to, to interact with a screen without a mouse. Uh, so if I raise my finger, you see that I have gotten control of a mouse. Um, and then I can start, um, you know, enabling uh, different applications. Okay, so, so here we have a PowerPoint. Uh, it's a presentation, so you can just uh, click uh, with your finger and you can do a next slide. Um, so then, you know, you can, uh, you can navigate uh, 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 your, through your PowerPoint presentation uh, using your fingers. Uh, you can also wave. Uh, if you wave, you, you see uh, that, uh, you know, that's a way to advance uh, the presentation. Um, so, you know, while you're giving your presentation, you do not need to worry about uh, touching the mouse, but you can just wave at the screen and uh, uh, advance or, you know, go back or do whatever you need to do. So all in all, uh, we believe that the system architecture that we are uh, developing is very well suited for computer vision applications. Uh, in computer user vision, you can use the GPU and the CPU together at the same time collaboratively and exploiting the best uh, that its uh, IP can offer. And uh, in AMD, we are all about open standards. We want to enable this uh, uh, to become mainstream and we fully supported and supportive and committed uh, to open standards like OpenCL and HSA.